Hi everyone, welcome to the first video of the series for REST Web Services using Java by Java Tech Booster. In this video, we are going to talk about REST Web Services from theory to practical and we will discuss various concepts end to end throughout the videos. The purpose of creating this video for me is to give you an overview of REST Web Services so that you can create a full-fledged REST API by the end of the series with minimal configuration changes. Talking about the prerequisite and takeaway, this tutorial need a prerequisite of your Java basic understanding as well as a basic knowledge of Spring will be more than enough. But even if you are very new to Java, don't worry about it. I'm going to explain every step in this tutorial from basic so you will not face any difficulty. Talking about the takeaways, after the series, you should be able to understand the concept of REST Web Services architecture design the various ways of creating REST full API and also you will learn on how to create a full-fledged REST web services. We will also see the execution of API developed during the session and test. For testing, we are going to use Postman. I will cover the testing part using Swagger in my other videos too. So let's start to the part one of this video series. As understanding of REST web services. Here we will talk about the API and what is REST web services. Why REST is so popular currently? How a REST API actually works? You will see the tech architecture design of REST and the various method which are readily available for us to use. So let's first try to understand what is an API. If you are from Java background, then I'm sure you will have some basic knowledge about it. But still for the bigger audience, I will talk about the API from the very beginning. It stands for Application Programming Interface, which is nothing but intermediate level which allow applications to talk to each other. In other words, if we say it is nothing but a messenger with take the request and provide us the response back after the server side rendering. So if you are uh, any uh, browser user, like if you, uh, we use lot of day-to-day -day activity, we use lot of applications. And all the applications fetch the data from the backend DB, not only, not all, but most of, right? So how those data is being pulled is something is coming from API. And same has been depicted in this diagram as well. There are different ways that we can create API. API which follows the REST, REST protocol, we call them REST APIs. RESTful web services or REST API are lightweighted, highly scalable and maintainable and very commonly used for creating APIs for web-based applications. Exchanging data between software applications written in various programming languages can use web services to exchange data of the computer networks like internet and manage similar to inter-process communication. So with this, I hope it is clear what exactly is REST. This diagram is shows that there could be various heterogeneous environment used for developing a REST API. REST tells you develop your code in whatever technology you want and just call me when needed and I will provide you the data in JSON format or YAML or normal text. With that, if there are different developers like Java, Python, Scala, all these can connect to REST which make the system loosely coupled. And this is the highest demanding feature in the world of microservices. Talking about the different features of REST, in 2018, REST was most popular choice of developer to build public APIs and in the era of microservices, this is really booming a lot. You can find many examples all over the internet since all 
big social media site provide REST API so that developer can seamlessly integrate their applications with the platform. With the help of REST services, these web applications can reside on different environments. Some could be on Windows, some could be on Linux. So all these environments can easily talk to each other using REST protocols. REST architectures allow developer to deliver data into multiple form format like plain text, XML, most popular ways, JSON, which most of the developer uses. Talking about JSON a little bit, it is a name value pair which consists of order list of values that are universal data structure by most of the programming languages. And JSON can be easily integrated with any language. That's the reason it's most flexible and preferable way of exchanging the data. As we discussed in the cloud-based architecture era, it's make more sense of web services to be programmed in REST to make best use of their functionality. Talking about the REST architecture design, REST basically indicate representational state transfer, which means everything in REST is a resource and every request that comes is a new request for the REST API. Uh, suppose if I hit a search in an online shopping catalog, okay, I search for a mobile phone that it will go to the server side and render the data and pass it the data to me on the web. If I do the same thing again, it will take the request as a completely new request and it will do the same thing again. What that means, it is it will be faster and it, it will not cache the data, which means it is not stuck with one web application. It can be used over sev several networks and can, to talk, can talk to multiple applications. This is very important. So REST Web Services has some inbuilt methods and this is nothing new. This is provided for most of the CRUD operations and most of the operations comes under this. Okay, I'm sure get and delete is very commonly used and kind of self-explanatory by this description. I will talk about post and put. Post is basically used for insertion of a record into the DB for a new request where as put is basically to update our resources. For example, imagine if I'm placing a new order for an online shopping, it will go as a post request for the first time. And after that, if I modify the order, it will go as a put. So guys, with this, we have come to the end of this videos. And in the next tutorial, we are going to see what are the tools and resources we are going to use for developing the REST web services and how to create your first REST web services in Java, also the further coding in the similar lines. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and keep tuned for my upcoming videos. Thank you so much.